everybody thank you for checking me out today is the third day in south africa sent in johannesburg and we're going on a bus tour yes a bus city tour that is how they call it so um the bus we booked this ticket online that was early this morning and then there are some places that about six to seven places that they pick uh tourists so uh we were lucky that our hotel radisson hotel is one of the destinations that they pick tourists so hey i'm just gonna go have fun explore something explore johannesburg uh there are a list of places that we will be uh visiting but one thing is that when you're sitting in this bus you are given a year piece oh uh, yeah year piece right so you are given a year piece and then i think they have this thing here here that uh, i think you can put in the unit you can put in this and then uh, i think it's in english maybe some of the commentary will be in the local language so if you have this you can easily slot it in and then hear whatever they are saying in english all right set off but honestly from what I've seen with the architecture uh, in relate in relation to uh, the buildings in South Africa I would say that this is an intent this is a pure uh, intention that they want to develop South Africa uh, sitting on top of this bus um, I am seeing a lot and I would say that South Africa is beautiful. You know, other African countries within the continent should look at emulating or learning from South Africa. I know uh, somebody will say that, okay, South Africa has uh, white people, excuse me to say white people, so because of them, South Africa is developed. Well, um, we always hear that Ghana, a relationship between Ghana and the USA, the, the relationship between Ghana and the UK, the relationship between Ghana and Canada. We have all these relationships ongoing within uh, the various countries here in the continent and then out there in the West. So how come we are not developing like they are? How come we are not learning the few things that they are doing to develop their country? You know, talk about, I mean, streets in Ghana, streets in South Africa, is way different i mean the road is the road network is way different but um like i'm saying if if our government will come and sit on radio and say or on the tv and say hey uh there is a there's 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 a, a mutual understanding between uh this country and that country and we are not seeing it then what kind of you know partnership is ongoing that we the locals are not seeing it anyway i'm not really into politics but i really want to show you a lot that I'm seeing here in South Africa. Uh, we're on a bus store, that is what we're doing today. I won't talk much, I'll just show you the beautiful city on top of this bus. Hey, I learned it's uh, summertime in um, South Africa, which I would say is Hamatan in Ghana, because in Ghana right now it is very dry. You have your lips drying up, cracking. You have when you go to the northern part of Ghana, you have people's heels cracking with blood. And here we are feeling it. So my sister here, say hello. Hello. All right. So we came with uh, Vera, 
and then uh, Greg. So we decided to do this trip together. So we have this uh, lip glow, gloss, lip what? Lip gloss. Gloss. Okay. Because I'm not a girl, I don't use this kind of thing. So. <laughs> oh really? Okay. Okay. So he she gave me this and I applied it for you. Applied it here. Because the weather kind of really sunny right now. Look. Really sunny right now. Look at the sun. Really sunny. So we have a lot of um, points or stations that we will be stopping to learn, you know, a few things. So when we get there, I will show you. But this should be on your bucket list. This should be on one of your itineraries when you're visiting Johannesburg, South Africa. Make sure you do this bus tour because. Bye bye. I'm with Greg. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right, sure. All right. Take care. All right, so there's a sister from Ghana who is also here, a friend of Greg, uh, my friend. So um, the parent came to drop them. So nice. You know what I'm thinking? If I'm able to save a lot, I'll bring my family to South Africa for a week.
yes i decided to descend down from the top and then come here and give a little history of what i've learned honestly i didn't know that joburg south africa is the city of gold so joburg was founded on gold this is something that is is really captivating inspiring you know listening to the commentary i mean telling the whole story of how joburg came about is so awesome i may not be able to tell all the story i may not be able to tell all the story but at the end of the day um, I have learned a lot about South Africa, how Jube came about, how mining started, how the, the city was built on, on gold. And then Jube being the, the, the financial capital of South Africa is so interesting. And I would love you to know more, see more, just enjoy the scenes here in Jube. So right now we are in Constitution uh, Hall or Constitution, yeah, Constitution Square, where uh, we have old buildings okay and this is where they also do an interchange of people who who are from other buses coming to join us to uh, other places
so finally we down from uh, about three hour tour touring the beautiful city of Johannesburg learning the history of Johannesburg uh, I mean a lot has been learned today a lot has been taught by these guys and honestly I would recommend this to anybody who is coming to Johannesburg or coming to South Africa on a tour you need to have this city bus hop and hop on hop off bus I mean you have a lot to learn so hey i'll be bringing you more from south africa johannesburg we'll be going to cape town pretty soon and then we'll bring you more from there so after the bus trip we decided to have a walk in the city and it looks like this place is really busy it has a lot of uh eateries all the way from down there mcdonald's I could see KFC. Is that not KFC? That one. There. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna find something to eat since we don't we don't eat a lot of uh, we are not used to um, South African food. We just want to do the normal KFC where everybody takes chicken and uh, chips. So and then. Um, what do you call it is it tomato paste ketchup yes so we're just gonna do the normal thing that travelers do eat when they travel not really uh So after the tour, I have here with me these great beautiful sisters. I just want to ask them the experiences so far, you know, from the beginning till the end. So talk to them. Uh, it's been good. It's been great. And then we hope for more sightseeing. <laughs> oh, it's a nice place. Very cold. Meanwhile, they said it's summer. <laughs> it's a very lovely place. Lovely places to see. Yeah, it's awesome. You should you should come visit South Africa. It's a beautiful place. Places like Joburg Art Center, Theatre <laughs> and Wait Museum and the Uptide Museum. Oh, not forgetting the Gold Drift City. It's a place to see. How, oh. how many places do you remember? Of the places oh, you went a lot. To? A lot. Um, as Monte you Cas said, Monte Cassino, um, Gold Drift City, um, um, where? We Apartheid Museum. Apartheid Museum. Jailbag. The Military Museum. Museum. Yeah. We had a lot of places. Johannesburg Zoo. Oh, Johannesburg Zoo. <laughs> Zoo Lake as well. Yes. Yes, it was awesome. It was great. It was a beautiful experience. And now we are at KFC. We are hungry, so we <laughs> have to eat. <laughs> and where were you picked from? Where were you picked from? Oh, from Rosebank. Opposite um, Holiday Inn. Yeah. <laughs> would you would you would you want to do the second? Yes, but probably Cape Town, not um, Jobek. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, this is my first time being here. How, how long have you been here? Um, two weeks now. Oh, that is you too. Oh no, this is not my first time. You two weeks, yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. After yeah. you guys, do you stay here now? No, my mom does. So you'll be going back? Yes. To where? To Ghana. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we'll be in Ghana together. <laughs> All right, thank you.